So what exactly is social distancing? It's all about separating you from other people around you, as the name implies. So one of the key things is sort of keeping a 1.5 metre minimum distance between you and the people around you. And the reason for that is because we know that respiratory droplets, so the spit that comes out your mouth and the things that are in the spit, is what infects other people. And that doesn't really travel for more than about a metre. So that's, that's where the 1.5 metre distance comes in. But social distancing is going way beyond that. So you might have been asked to work from home depending on your profession. You might be um, being told that you shouldn't be going to large gatherings. Some large gatherings are being banned and cancelled around Australia at the moment and that's something that's continuing apace. So the reason for that is we're trying to limit the amount of people in the same place as each other. If you're not going to work, you're not seeing your colleagues um, face to face, but you're also probably avoiding crowded public transport. So all of these measures together are about basically reducing the number of times humans interact with each other and therefore reducing the number of opportunities that people have to accidentally pass a virus from one person to another. Flattening the curve is basically about using those social distancing measures that we just mentioned to reduce the number of cases overall. So if you think about the number of cases at any given point in time, uh, over time. And so if you have an uncontrolled pandemic where the virus is just able to spread freely throughout the community, what you end up having is a really high peak of cases. But the limit of the medical facilities, the, the healthcare system might be here and the peak of the cases might be up here. So everyone in here are competing effectively for the same resources and our doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals are stretched to the max or way past the max. Whereas if we can flatten the curve, so pushing that peak down so that the peak of the pandemic, it might come a bit later. It feels like the pandemic lasts for longer, but overall the peak maybe isn't reaching that limit or it's it's only kind of coming a little bit above the limit of what the healthcare system can deal with and so then you reduce the number of tricky ethical questions that healthcare workers have to ask themselves about who does get treatment and who might not be able to get treatment this is something that has been happening in other countries so if we all do our bit to help flatten that curve, we reduce the risk of it happening here in Australia. Both of these things, social distancing, flattening the curve, it's all about playing a numbers game. The fewer interactions you have with people, the fewer chances the virus gets to spread, the fewer people get the disease, the fewer extreme cases there are, and so the less pressure on the healthcare system. So it's about protecting you, and it's really at a community level about protecting everyone so that we can all get the medical care that we need when we need it, and the fewest amount of people get sick as possible. If we can all band together, we can actually make a really big difference. We're answering your questions on Coronacast every single day, and you can also see the ABC's full coronavirus coverage at abc.net.au slash coronavirus.